My next guest is a fifth generation circus performer who placed in the top 12 during this season's America's Got Talent. You know, everyone's fond of saying what their favorite act is. This, hands down, is my favorite act of the night. Please welcome Christian and Scooby. This was one of the best things I've seen in a long time. One of my favorite acts of the night. I love Scooby, and you're not too shabby either there. The idea that a hand balancer of your caliber also has a paw balancer in his possession is amazing. Do you ever worry about how long you guys can stay a pair? When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a professional athlete. But as life progressed, and I found out my ticket to the genetic lottery wasn't a winning one, I shifted my focus. I still wanted to make it under the lights, but now, as a halftime performer. With unlimited resources and a multi-million dollar budget, I was able to live out that journey. This is half the story. I'm about to go meet the boys of the hour, Christian and Scooby. Bro, so thank you so much for letting us come down here, bro. I appreciate it. Dude, no problem. We're excited to be uh, doing this with you guys. This will be fun. Christian Stoyniev travels the world performing his illustrious balancing act during halftime shows. Christian and Scooby. Raised by a circus family, he mastered acrobatics at an early age. 180 pounds all balanced on one finger. But this is not a one-man show. Every night, Christian joins forces with his family chihuahua, Scooby. Can I, can I meet uh, this guy? Can yeah, yeah, so this, this is Percy. This uh, is Percy, not Scooby. Not Scooby, Scooby's 15, so we retired him like four years ago. So. Wait, so how long has his act been going on if he's... So if we've had, the Christian and Scooby act has been going on probably a little over 10 years now, because we started with Scooby when he was just uh, probably like two years old or so. And then Percy's kind of taken over for the past five years, so now he's a little star under the stage name Scooby. What is the star? Uh, what does a star dog act like? Kind of like a little human baby, honestly. <laughs> I mean, he wants to be carried most of the time. Yeah. He's a little high maintenance. If there's a diva in the group, it's definitely him. Does Percy ever uh, help you get girls? Uh, I, he he helps me attract the ladies over to us. Um, he's definitely got that mindset, I think, where he knows. Sometimes I wish I knew what he was thinking. Because like when he walks by all these cheerleaders, I wonder if he's like, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Or if he's just like, you know who I am. Like, what's up, girl? You know, like, I think he's cocky. I definitely think Percy's the type that's like, hey, girl, you gonna, you know, itch my belly or what? Percy is the most famous chihuahua this side of Taco Bell and the top dog in show business. But sometimes, being number one comes with number two. Uh, we had a, uh, an, an experience with, uh, with the Bucks where uh, he did a little poo-poo on the court. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that was a little... That was that you was guys. Us. That was us. So, um, but it, we'll didn't probably... it, it didn't deter anybody, though. Mm, yeah, but we'll probably never work there again. I don't oh, know. Really? <laughs> so, you know, you, you live and you learn. So he's just got to poop before every game now just yeah, so we don't kinda, have Yeah, he kind of by now too has gotten into a routine. He kind of knows like and can sense like, all right, we're in the basketball arena, so. Right, he knows that it's, yeah. this, it's game time. Go ahead, go poop, go poop. As a 27-year-old man who spends half of his time waiting on a chihuahua to defecate, life can get lonely. Based in the entertainment wasteland of Las Vegas, Christian spends the bulk of his year traveling state to state with little to no human companionship. Does your life get lonely out here? Yeah, yeah um, that's been one of the things that, that's why I think I've really loved and embraced uh, Vegas. Because before that, when I was always traveling and uh, you know, I lived in LA for a little bit and really I was always on the road and so it could get really lonely just always being on the road and not really having uh, that person traveling with you. And even then when you get back home, you're only home for a day or two and then you travel out again and so, the schedule could get really hectic, it could get pretty lonely, but in Vegas, um, you know, I don't have a girlfriend, but um, I have friends that have people that are like, are established there, that they have their lives and their schedules going on, and so now I know like Vegas is home. It was clear to me that Christian was facing a problem with an even bigger one on the horizon. Chihuahuas live for an average of 12 to 20 years, but their athletic peak is visible through a much smaller window. After already kicking one dog to the curb, the question looms, just how many days in the spotlight 
does Percy have left? Yeah, I mean, I don't worry about it, but I definitely, like with Scooby, he's 15 now. We retired him when he was about 11. Um, so with Percy, I'm thinking he'll go until he's about 10. That's my kind of my mind. So he's six now. Um, um, but I've already been on the lookout for another little brother for him that we want to try to start like playing around with and developing tricks with. So, I mean, with Percy, it, it kind of happened with Scooby. It was really difficult because, you know, when I started rotating them and I would do like one game with one and another game with the other, Scooby wanted to go to all of them. Mm. Like when we would leave, he would jump into the, the bag and be ready to go. And it was kind of really sad when I would be like, no, Percy's taking this one. And then like, so retiring him was one of the most difficult things because like he didn't want to retire, but I just was, I thought it was for the better, like, you know, better like stop it up too, a little too early than too late. Right, like Barry Sanders rather than like Patrick Ewing or something like that. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got to know when to leave the game. But sometimes you, there's a Peyton Manning where they tell you to retire and then you win the Super Bowl. Christian and I agreed to stop talking about his dog's imminent date with the Grim Reaper and decided to sharpen our skills for the upcoming show. Right away, I noticed how shredded Percy was, and Christian looked pretty jacked too. I knew joining their act would take mental strength, but it looked like I'd need some physical strength as well. You want me to try now? You're up. <laughs> Not for me, it's not for me. That's I just think my lower thing. body's too heavy. I don't that's think it's the a strength thing. I couldn't stick the dual-handed back press, but Christian still promised me a leading role in his routine. I'll have you help out at the beginning too, but during the act, yeah. when Percy jumps out of this basket, yes. or the stereo, the only thing on this table is gonna be these two sticks. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna need you to come over here and take these two out. And then that one is going to be laying right there. Uh -huh. So you'll take those two out and then you'll put that in the middle. Christian betrayed my trust and relegated me to a menial task. But there are no small roles, only small performers. The first couple minutes I'm like doing hand things here by myself. And I'll like come down here, I kind of, I bow and then I'll call him out. So, so I'll kind of run up. Don't even, yeah, you have time. Pop yeah. one, pop two. Leave them on the floor right there. And it, there's nothing I have to lock in to make sure that it's good. No, no. Smelling Christian's fear of being upstaged, I backed off. The kid was pretty good after all. I'd like to see Lonzo Ball do that. Last year, Lonzo Ball ranked 51st in the league with 2.2 turnovers per game. Percy learned a turnover at just two weeks old. Showtime was upon us. Percy could smell the moment. We carried Christian's 120 pound circus platform, but it was light compared to the weight on his shoulders. Percy was locked in and full of emotions. Well aware of his origin story as a replacement chihuahua, he knows that any performance could be his last. And the show began. The spotlight like a tractor beam drawing Christian towards stardom. Years of circus training kicked in as he fired up the crowd before launching into a dual-handed inversion split. Balancing on two stacks of silver boxes, he focused on executing the first death-defying crescendo of his nightly routine. Magnificent! The crowd roared. Bolstered with confidence, Christian emptied out his deep bag of acrobatic tricks, each more dazzling than the last. But, fantastic as he was, the crowd was restless, wondering, would they see their precious Scooby before halftime came to a close? Amazing! Running across the stage came the real star of the show, as well as the other real star who heroically chose not to upstage his castmates. Percy effortlessly took the reins, adding his own flavor to the act that had been mastered by generations of Scoobies before him. And in that very moment, I started to realize it wasn't about the kibbles and bits and the courtside shits. It wasn't about the finite lifespan of a Chihuahua's career. It was about the bond between a person and a pup. For it's often told that dog is man's best friend, but sometimes a man can be a dog's. 
there's a lot of favorite parts for me, but um, kind of making a name for my dogs is kind of one of my favorite parts. It's just really cool that people, like I said, that people see us out on the street after a game or something and be like, oh, look, it's Scooby. And that, like, just the fact that they remember that name. My God, unbelievable. Thanks for the help. A little sweat. Just a little, a little sweat. I appreciate it. I, I knew what was coming and I still was like shocked when you knocked the blocks off. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I was like, oh my God, did something go wrong? I still did when it When you somehow. first got up there, it that was crazy. You were like stable. I could tell how much you were like working to stabilize your body and everything. Once I give him this greenie, he'll go in the bag and he doesn't want to be bothered. So say your piece now say because hey buddy, you did have a great like job. I don't have anything for five you. Five minutes of quiet time. Here, take a job. Say please. Sit, sit up, say please. Yeah. Congratulations right, on a great show. Come on. Peace. Amazing. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's a wrap in Dallas. That was crazy to watch, bro.